In today's video, we're going to be installing a train horn in my 2014 Ford Fusion. I know it's not the greatest vehicle to put a train horn in, but uh, I gotta work with what I have. Uh, today's video is actually sponsored by a company called Viver. You can find them on Amazon. And they sell a whole range of products, uh, automotive products, workshop products, uh, pretty much anything you can think of related to the garage. So the nice people at Viver went ahead and sent me out a train horn that we're gonna be installing in the trunk of the car. The kit actually comes with a compressor. It comes with the train horns themselves, and it comes with everything you need to make it work. There are some things that you have to buy separately, like some switches, the power wires are not included in the kit. Uh, the kit does come with everything you need to make it actually work. Uh, the first night I got it out of the box, we hooked it up to a battery on the floor. Uh, right there, just with the battery. Uh, the nice people at Viver also sent out this work light stand. This thing is super, super bright, and I actually use it throughout the video. And uh, there's some shots where you can tell that I'm using it because it's like really lit up. And these things are just super phenomenal bright. The lights themselves are actually glass, I believe, here. These LEDs are no joke. They're super bright. Crazy awesome work lights. Uh, check these things out. I'll put a link in the description uh, Link is in the description for the train horn too. I bought toggle switches from Amazon and I'll put the link for those down in the description too uh, If you go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's to pick up your switches You're gonna be spending eight dollars for one switch and uh, the kit on Amazon was like eight dollars for five switches So if you don't want to spend eight hundred dollars on the train horn kit, this kit is a good option if you're able to keep the compressor in a dry spot. Uh, I've seen some reviews where people are complaining about the compressor quitting and mainly I believe that has to do with uh, people putting the compressor on the outside of the vehicle which the compressor is not supposed to get wet. I believe the horn blasters kit can but that kit's gonna run you 800 bucks. We're installing the compressor in a trunk so we don't gotta worry about water. We run the hoses and the wires through a grommet to the horns on the outside of the car. So if you have a place where you can keep this compressor dry and you can install these horns, uh, this would be a good kit for you. They're super loud, but let's go ahead and let's get started putting them in the car. Compressor comes with red and a black power wires. These are the wires to power the compressor. So it comes with a set of instructions, uh, kind of power distribution back there. So we're gonna have our power wire. This is actually for, from an old speaker kit. We're gonna run our power wire back to the trunk. It's gonna come into here. And then, so the compressor is gonna be a separate separately powered from the horn. When I flip on my switch, the compressor will kick on. Here is the horns, and this is the solenoid that controls the air pressure. So when you, you hit the horn button, this solenoid opens up electronically, and then it releases the air through the horns. I'm just gonna get into it. I'm gonna start working on it you can watch see how i hook it up and then in the end i'll explain in further detail exactly how it's hooked up. now we got to get this thing bolted in so i'm gonna have to drill some holes back here somewhere so that i can mount this with those holes there. I think I'm gonna put it, I think I might go right here on this side over here. I'm probably gonna drill my holes right there and we will get that thing mounted in and then we can start running our hose and our wires.
Okay, so we got our compressor completely wired up. I got a power wire running from the battery to the switch and then back to the compressor. So right now it's not gonna power on because the main fuse is not up there. I got a 35 amp fuse that plugs in under the hood, 35 amp rated switch. And then in the back, we have a fuse block with a 35 amp fuse in it too. So we got a fuse on this side of the switch and a fuse on this side of the switch. This thing should never catch on fire or have any problems. The uh, compressor is rated for running at 35 amps. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this main fuse in and uh, see if she'll kick on. That powers the compressor on. So we got a switch for that. Then I had to go pick up another switch. Uh, I got this at O'Reilly's. It was like five bucks. So with this kit, it doesn't have the switches, so you're gonna have to pick those up yourself. The only place I can really put this button in this area is like right here. So I'm gonna put it right here. So hopefully when I close this, it's not too noticeable and you won't really see it, so. All right, so after being installed, here is the button. Nice and clean. There you go. Hardly noticeable. I mean, like if you're back here, can't even see it. I wanted it separate from the horn. I wanted to have the normal horn. And then if I want, I can have the train horn. That's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you feel better about buying this train horn kit on Amazon. I literally installed it like a month and a half ago. Been super busy with Christmas. I uh, got sick, was in bed for a week. So it's taken me a long time to post this video, but that's a good thing because uh, I've been able to make sure that the strain horn works and it's been working for over a month and a half now. And I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.